Hey guys, I'm Danica Ferranti here from MyBeautyScraps.com. I thought I'd give you a little look at reality today. <laughs> I'm starting to set up for my December daily album and I like to use my Razcog cart. And usually once December is done, I clean it off and start using it for regular project life. But I kind of reconfigured the way I store my project life items, which you can see a little bit of up here. Sorry for the light bulb. Um, and I didn't need it after December, so I actually never cleaned it off. So this is the mess that was left over <laughs> after my December daily album last year. So what I plan to do is clear this off and sort everything that's left on it. Because as you can see, it's not just the top mess. There's <laughs> a lot going on on all three levels. Um, but I'm going to sort through it and choose items um, that match the color scheme that I'm using this year using the Hello December 2016 kit, uh, which is Project Life by Stampin' Up. Um, I'm sure there's a lot in here that's going to coordinate, so I'm going to sort through what items I want to keep, and then I'm going to make um, a de-stash video for the stuff I'm purging, and I'm going to re- set this up with my new stuff I'm going to use this year. So I'll be right back to show you how I'm going to set it up with my products that I'm using. And then in my next video, I'll share with you guys um, what I'm purging, sending what I'm not going to use this year off to a happy home. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Well, it's going to take me some time, but through the magic of video, I'll be right back. All right, so here's a look at some of the wreckage. <laughs> I pretty much just pulled everything off the cart and threw it on my desk. But in order to start going through it, I really wanted to have a better view of the kit that I'm using this year. So here you can see I cleared off the cart. And I just placed these green bins in the top tray of the cart. I've had really good luck finding little containers like these at all different dollar stores. You can usually get them in a pack of two or three for a dollar. I use them all over my house to organize stuff, but they're really handy in this Rascog cart. I love this organization for my December daily. I decided to sort through the main kit that I'm using for my album this year and spread that out over the top tray of the cart. It's going to be the easiest to reach for. And since this is really going to be the, the core of my album, I wanted to give it <laughs> the top shelf. Um, and then this is going to make everything in my kit really visible. So as I sort through all of my stuff from years past, it's going to be easy to see what's going to match and what isn't. And then that's going to make it easier for me to see what I need to purge. And done. <laughs> I don't know why I waited so long to do that. That was not that bad. <laughs> so now I have my Rascog cart all set up to start my December daily album. Um, I'll give you a little overview of what I've got in here. Um, on the top layer... In this basket over here, I have all of my journaling and filler cards from my Hello December 2016 kit, which is Project Life by Stampin' Up. And that's um, all available in my online store, which I will link to down below. For those of you new to my channel, I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator. Um, I've got some of my new Project Life pens in there too, so I'm ready to go. And then in this little container here. I've got my alpha stickers from the kit. I've got my number stickers from the kit and I've got all of my daily cards that were also from that same kit. So those are in two different designs and I have uh, my previous December daily video shows you everything in the um, Project Life by Stampin' Up! Hello December 2016 kit. So then in this bin right here, I just put uh, the stamp set from the kit and all of the decorative accessories and um, photo overlays too. And in this bin, I've got bits from my kit from last year. So my um, Hello December 2015, I had some overlays still. 
I can't believe I didn't use that gold glitter reindeer. He's so cute. So I definitely want to use him this year, um, as well as some alpha stickers and some label stickers. And then in the bottom, see if I can open this one handed, I have some of our reindeer clips from last year. Quite a few of those left actually, so gotta get to using those. And then in this container, I just saved the washi tapes um, that coordinated with the colors I'm using in the kit this year. So lots of reds and blacks, and then there's some um, cork stickers in there too. And then in the back, I stuck in some bits from previous Gossamer Blue kits that I have that I think are going to coordinate well with the kit I'm using this year. So there's some full 6x8 papers in here. We've got some 4x6 cards. There's a couple 4x4 cards. And then there's a pretty decent stack of 3x4 cards there too. And I think both of these um, masking tape rolls are from Studio Calico, past Studio Calico kits. Okay, so moving down to the next level, in this container, I have lots of sequins, tons of sequins. I like to do shaker pockets in my album. And um, I kept some little rhinestone embellishments. There's some acrylic words and some little um, wood veneers. And then in this container, I've got some two by two cards from previous Gossamer Blue kits. And then last year, um, my son was still eating um, those Gerber baby foods that come in those tubs. So I was using those little lids to organize things. So there's a few of those lids there. So the top one has some um, vellum cutouts. And then there's one with some acrylic cutouts. And then there's two down below with some um, wood veneer words. And then this last bin over here just has some various embellishments. There's some alpha stickers, some cork stickers, some cork um, snowflakes. I'm making a mess as I'm flipping through here. <laughs> There's some enamel dots and then my favorite um, word stickers from previous Gossamer Blue kits and I think Studio Calico kits. There's some more alpha stickers and then I did decide to include these Heidi Swap alpha stickers because I think the gold and the red will match but green not so much but I'll use those elsewhere um, I have this old basic gray juniper berry embellishment kit that actually coordinates quite nicely um, that green is a nice match for the emerald envy and um, there's also some big red like fan sequins and baker's twine and little jingle, jingle bells and washi tape. And then I also have the pink, pla pink paisley, um, very large number, um, red foil number chipboards. And then here I just have a pile of randomness um, <laughs> that I might use for inserts. There's a couple doilies, some vellum, and some little pockets in there. And there's also a pack of some red doilies that I got at Michael's. And then in the very bottom layer, I just decided to keep a couple stamp sets in here because I'll mostly be using my Stampin' Up! ones. Um, but here's some little penguins. I think this one's Hero Arts. It has a coordinating die. Uh, this is a stamp set from a previous Gossamer Blue um, December kit. This one's from a Scraptastic kit. I used to subscribe to their kits. And then here's the Studio Calico one too that I thought was really cute. And those little branches will coordinate nicely with the... Um, Stampin' Up! kit I'm using. And then I'm also just keeping my album down there. And the last thing I'll show you is this Ferrero Rocher collection box. Um, <laughs> it's all empty and all of those nice little compartments are perfect for sorting out wood veneer and tiny little embellishments. So hopefully you can kind of see how I use that and get an idea there. All right, so that's how I have my Rascog cart set up and ready to get started on my December daily album for 2016. I'm going to turn over here a little bit 
And here you can see what I purged out of that Rascog cart. So I have a pretty uh, big box there full of embellishments and journal cards um, and also quite a few wood mount stamps. So I'm going to be making a, another video where I'm going to have a couple boxes um, set up for D-Stash so these items can find a happy home. <laughs> um, I'll pr I still have to go through it. I'm probably going to keep a couple of my favorite things that just because they don't coordinate with the kit this year um, I'll still use them in my regular project life but stay tuned for that video make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing and um, stay tuned for more December daily updates I'm so excited to get started I hopefully you guys are going to scrap right along with me it's my favorite project of the year all right guys talk to you soon bye